Yeah. Hey guys, it's uh, so we finished a uh, a first. Oh my god, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to uh, count all the laps, but one lap and a first loop done. So far, so good. Uh, this the sky was covered, so cooler. Uh, we even felt some little bit of rain, but fine. We pretty much sing the same time, an hour 35 for that gap. As you can see, I start to uh, uh, set up a routine. So as soon as I get in, as fast as I can, I, get, I take off my shoes, take off my socks, so that they, they breathe, they dry. Um, so, what is this race? Who's behind that, right? So I thought uh, we could interview the uh, race directors, uh, Andy, Andy Weinberg, if I said right. Uh, I'll uh, let him uh, explain to you what's the race, who is he behind that, what is the uh, Endurance Society. Uh, Andy, want to come over? What's that? You want to come over? <laughs> All right. So this is Andy. Andy. Hey, Andy. He's one of the race director. I'll let you uh, talk with him. All right, Andy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the race? So the athletes are doing um, a multi-day ultra ultra marathon, 888 kilometers, which is breaks down to 551 miles. They have 10 days to do it, exactly 240 hours, and. Um, a lot of strategy involved, and they will challenge themselves mentally, physically, and emotionally for the next 10 days. Now, how did you manage to create this insanity? What, what inspired you? Um, the inspiration, Jack and I, my partner Jack, um, we enjoy doing endurance races, and we like the, um, the athletes. And we thought we wanted to come up with something really extreme. And there really isn't a race like this. There's a lot of multi-day races, um, but there aren't many where you go out into the woods on your own for multiple loops over and over. Um, so while you're out there, it's pretty much self-supported, and then you come in and check. Check in every time you come back, and we just thought it would be a great test. And we figured if we opened up registration, we'd get some nuts, and sure enough, we did. Excellent. Can you tell me a little bit about the Endurance Society and, and what that's all about? Yeah, the Endurance Society is a company we started in 2014, and it's a small Vermont-based company, and we put on different events um, to test people psychologically, and uh, our audience is mainly endurance enthusiasts and adventure seekers. We have a snowshoe and cross-country skiing race in the winter. We have a long team event called Extremis. It's a 50-mile winter trek. We have this ultra marathon. Um, we have a secret event, and then we have an adventure race set up for this October, which is a team event, four people per team. And we just put on cool events, and we also utilize our members for volunteerism. Um, like Helen's raising money for... Um, veterans who commit suicide, and just people doing cool things. We also partner, we're small business supporters of the Vermont Special Olympics is our social entity, and the Green Mountain Club is our environmental entity. Excellent. So if people wanted to go to a website or find out more about this, where should they go? EnduranceSociety.org. And um, we, our member, we have a membership available in an online store, and you can register for the events. And you can track these guys for the next 10 days. Excellent. Do you got anything else you want to tell uh, all the fans in both the United States and Canada? A lot of fans from both countries. Me? You. Yeah, oh. Yeah. I'm still not, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a great yeah, adventure. No pressure, like, uh, no I want to say something so good. Well, thank you, Andy. I know you got to get back to work. No but, problem. Uh, we appreciate all you do, and hopefully... We'll see more people out uh, at these events soon. Yeah, I look forward to more updates too. It'll be Excellent. fun. Excellent. <laughs> I can't wait to see her when she's like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I already have a hard time to speak. So uh, take care of my feet, food, and then go back to uh, the long loop. Uh, we'll bring the headlamp this time in case we hit the night. And uh, we'll get back to you for sure after that, that loop. Uh, don't hesitate to comment and ask questions regarding anything. Uh, we'll uh, make sure to address them later on. Perfect. Actually, uh, we do have we did have a bear sighting. Do you want to comment on that really quickly? About what? A bear sighting. Oh yeah, so 
I mean, there's wild wildlife here. Uh, so some of the guys saw a bear and the two calves? Cubs. Cubs. So, uh, you know, you gotta be careful out there, make sure uh, one bear is fine, but the bear with the cubs can be dangerous. So this is, uh, this is Ramon deep in the Green Mountain. Huh? No? Anything else? Not for now. We'll talk to you after that second move, so probably in uh, six, uh, six or seven hours, maybe? Less than that. Six hours? Less than that. That's it? About six, six hours. So uh, stay tuned. Again, send us some comments, some questions, and we'll be glad to answer them.